Hi guys, I'm Deep Gautam. Today I'm going to take you to a very important topic called routing, which can be used in Angular 4 or Angular 2. And basically, first of all, I would like to explain you what is exactly routing is. Routing is uh, it's a kind of the benefit which provides me to navigate into multiple components or multiple views without loading whole application. So say, that's the concept of the single page application where you not need to load everything on the <coughs> first moment itself. You could uh, load those things on the demand wherever is required. So whatever you are loading, you are just loading that particular stuff. You are not loading whole page. That's why routing came into picture and routing is kind of uh, navigation from one page to another page which will not load whole page, which will load only that particular component. So that's why routing is very important in Angular 4 or Angular 2. So today I'm going to show you how you can achieve the routing in Angular 4 or Angular 2. So it's going to be the, my live practical over here. Let me open my <coughs> favorite editor called Visual Studio Code where I'm going to write the code and achieve the routing and stuff. Okay, fine. So I will navigate to my integrated terminal and go to that particular directory where I would like to create the project. So, <coughs> so integrated terminal. Okay, it's here. It's here. So I am here in an integrated terminal and uh, let me navigate to that particular folder where I would like to create the project. So let's say this is my live training folder where I would like to create this project. And okay, so I am inside the live training folder and let me close this all the steps. What all this these are my Later project or earlier project which I have tried over here. So I'm over here. So I'm going to create uh, the new project in Angular. So let's say ng new and uh, uh, let me call it a for routing. A for routing. Ng new. This is the command which you can run and generate your uh, new project in Angular by using Angular CLI. So I set generate one project over here for me and uh, this, uh, this command is going to run and it will create the project over here. So it looks like here the project has been created and uh, let me navigate to that particular project folder and run the project if it is working very fine. So what was my project name? I am navigating to that uh, directory angular 4 routing. Okay. So it's there and let's run the command to test whether project is running properly got created or not so this project is going to compile my angular stuff and it will show into the browser in the uh, port called uh, <coughs> basically localhost 4200 so it has started let me go to the browser and say localhost 4200 so <coughs> Yeah, it might be still running over here. The moment it will complete 100% and we will be able to see the Angular uh, 4 project running over here. In that, we are going to implement the routing concept. Here. Yeah, so my project is working very much fine. So, <coughs> let's uh, let's see and how we can uh, now. Now we have to create, we have to open the project and create the component in that particular project. So, you know, I'm, I'm going and opening my particular folder where my project got created. So, this is, uh, this will open one dialog and this is my project which I have to, over here. Let me load the project over here. First. Yeah, so, yeah, so this is the project which got loaded over here. And uh, here is my source code basically. So uh, I'm gonna to create multiple component over here. So again, I will use integrated terminal command where I will generate multiple component. Oh, I'm sorry for that. I have closed basically. Yes. So here is my VS code, and uh, I'm generating multiple component over here. So I'm gonna to uh, write the command. Let's see again. Make sure that we are into the particular directory where we would like to create that particular component okay so we must be inside this so i'm just making sure that we are there and okay so we are there and ngg and the component component 
component is calling this right and let me create one folder called components and slash let's say home so this is going to generate one home component inside my source app folder yeah so this has generated let's uh, generate uh, about over here yeah so it has generated let's generate contact over here okay so it will generate the contact component as well okay so let's generate the news component over here which i'm gonna to use it okay so this is news components uh, okay it has been generated properly so this is my app and this is my component folder where about contact home and news so where i'm going to reference those component from the main uh, app component dot html so let's go to this particular html and in order to speed up the process i have already written this particular html shift image yeah so this is my html which i am gonna to replace it and this is nothing but this simple html where you ulli and uh, instead of href i am having router link which should be using and this is the router outlet where our component will be rendered okay so i do have the some css as well uh, so that it will look a uh, little professional over here so let's see and what is this css is all about this is the css for my particular uh, main component okay so this is the css which i'm go gonna to test over here and this is my css okay and i have the uh, css for <coughs> particular each component as well so this is my css for each component and each component is referenced by this css so that uh, whatever the component uh, will be rendered it will be rendered properly and it will show something interesting or uh, visible or readable you can see okay so here as well i'm just testing that css so, so i'm gonna to say just one simple one div over there and in that particular div uh, you are uh, you will be able to see the particular content what will be the content your this system so again uh, basically i have to uh, show you okay so let's uh, navigate to the very important part which is like uh, uh, app module.ts and i will write some code on app module.ts in order to use the routing so yeah so in order to do that the first thing is that is import this stuff over here and this is going to be here so you need to import this okay then after that you have to include routing module in your import sections so wherever you are having here you are having browser module and the browser module itself you will be having this routing okay maybe i'm doing mistake okay this is what so these are the things so router module you need to include over here for root and then what all your roots are there so home i have home component about component contact component and uh, these are the my component class so let me just verify whether class name is correct yes home component which is correct this is uh, about component and intelligence will give you that particular okay about component as well so okay this is about component so what i did in module.ts i have included this and i have included this code which is defining my route how it has to navigate okay so let's uh, come to this integrated terminal and let's see what is happening and she's uh, and the part is running it or not let's see and, uh, so it looks like uh, still it is compiling yeah of course it is listening and it should come up very soon to show you what exactly happening over there okay so here how it is looking so i am uh, currently i am at home component this is my part and this is my router outlet part so which will be i will be opening and it will open my particular links over here yes yeah so 
thanks for watching this is all about routing if you would like to have the look into the code this is simple code over here which will define your routing and will display thank you for watching this video